Okay, so let's take a look at Spreadsheet. And I'm actually going to open up a spreadsheet that I just started working on. And this is, um, this is actually a budget that I am putting together for this year's bake sale. Uh, but before I go over that, let me just show you a little bit about the, where you can find everything in the menu. If you have used Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, then a lot of this looks pretty familiar. So you know, here in the file is where you can import and um, you, know, you can also do your printing. Um, it's different edits, the different views, and the formats. Um, when you insert, this is where, when you insert a row above and insert a column to the right or left, um, here is also where you find the formulas, the sum, average, count, max, and min. And it looks like there are very few options here, but all you have to do is just click on more formulas, and it will bring you to this pop-up menu, and you just click on one of these, and, it would, and uh, this is a whole list of different kinds of formulas you can include into your spreadsheet depending on what your report is or what you're trying to calculate. So the other thing in the insert is um, you can insert charts and comments. You can insert an image if you want to put in a picture or even a drawing. Uh, the other great thing is when you click on gadget, these are other options that you can insert into your document to uh, show different kinds of uh, views of things. And um, in, you know, if you're, if you're trying to, it really depends on, on the kind of spreadsheet you're creating. But uh, if you see here, you can do uh, all different kinds of charts, and uh, include the Gantt chart, spider chart. And also, you can even include maps, too. So you have, if you look on the left side, you can, view, you can sort by charts or tables, different kinds of maps, things on the web, diagrams, finance. And uh, you can even customize it as well. So I'm, just going to, I'm actually just going to uh, click out of this and get back into our spreadsheet. And if you are still having trouble um, or you want to you learn more about the spreadsheets, you can even go to the help, uh, just like what we learned in the documents, and uh, just type in what you're looking for. And also just browse about the other kinds of um, options that the spreadsheets has available. So um, here in the, in, in the lower menu, um, if you want to, the, the look of the cell is, uh, you know, if you want to actually put in commas or if you want to put in any kinds of, uh, make it a currency. Um, also the sizes and different colors if you want to actually um, make colors into the, uh, in the different rows or color the cells. So the other place that you can find formulas is also right here. And it's very similar to, it's the same thing as the insert. So since we don't actually have a formula here, let's create one. So let's just total this up. And let's actually make a border on here so there's a line above. So uh, this option up here is where the different borders are. So let's make a line above the total. And what we're going to do is now going to calculate this. So let's highlight all the cells that you want to, you want to sum up. Go to Formulas, press Sum. And this is showing you the, different, the cells that are actually going to be added up. So you just press Enter, and then it calculates it for you. So if you want to also add more spreadsheets, um, you go to Add Sheet, which is on the bottom left corner. And uh, what it'll do is just create a brand new sheet. And you can move it to the left, or you can move it to the right. You can also, um, this is where you can rename it. And you can even duplicate an old sheet as well. I'm just going to delete this one. And as you can see, I have also, um, I've already included last year's spreadsheet. So this is what last year's total looked like. And what I want to do now is I'm actually going to create a chart. So it's more of a, another visual for the, of what the, um, of what the spreadsheet looks like. So let's go to chart. And I'm going to create a title. So let's call it last year's. And then the horizontal axis, since the horizontal axis, these are all the, the products. So let's say baked goods. Vertical axis is the amount. And um, there are actually different kinds of charts I can create. I want to do a pie chart or a line chart, but I'm just going to stick with the columns and go to save chart. And I'll create it right there. So the, uh, the color, it's all color coordinated. And here's the key of uh, what it is that it's, um, it's representing. So you can actually move this down, and uh, just so that way it's out of the way. And um, yeah, again, you can play around with the chart if if you'd rather have it be uh, a pie chart. You know, just select that, and then go to save chart, 
and it does the same thing. So as you can see, this actually is saving about every few minutes whenever I'm doing, um, whenever I'm creating a document, either if I'm in the spreadsheets or if I'm in uh, documents or presentations. But uh, what you always want to do is when you're done is just go to save, go to save and close. Um, if you're not going to, sh otherwise, you know, first share it. And if you don't want to, if you don't need to share it, you can also get the link. And what it will do is it will provide, it will pro provide the link right here. You can just copy and paste it into the uh, into an email or um, a message to your friend. So I'm going to save and close. And that is a brief overview of spreadsheets in Google Docs. Did you ever think building spreadsheets through the use of Google Docs could be so exciting? Exciting, sure. Now why are we taking the public transit? Couldn't we just have grabbed a cab or better yet, use our super doc mobile? I suppose we could, but we are on a tight budget now and need to cut back on our spending. You know how much gas the doc mobile guzzles up. Well, maybe if you would let me drive it every once in a while I would have a better idea of how much the doc mobile guzzles up. This leads us to our next exercise. Now that you and your colleagues have thought up some super ideas for the party, it is time to budget for it. Write out the list that you came up with in the last assignment on a spreadsheet and determine how much everything will cost. Discuss with your fellow students ways you can cut back on costs. Practice using formulas and visual charts. Do you have any idea what stop we are supposed to get off of? Don't worry Bill, I have everything under control. I sure hope we don't run into any villains. I didn't bring enough small change to have to try to chase them with public transportation. 